it's stuffing time. with another celebrity recipe showdown and today we're making stuffing. I'm making Ina Garten stuffing and Marilyn Monroe's. And I'm making Emeril Lagasse's simple but fabulous stuffing and Gwyneth Paltrow's classic bread stuffing. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm making Marilyn Monroe's Thanksgiving stuffing and this has a lot of really wild ingredients for stuffing. Chestnuts, ground beef, way too many raisins, Parmesan cheese to go with your raisins. Don't forget your chicken livers. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. We also have some hard boiled eggs. And the weirdest thing of all, soaked bread. Marilyn Monroe's Thanksgiving stuffing starts out by soaking a whole loaf of bread under cold water. Let it sit in there for 15 minutes and wring out the excess water before tearing it into pieces and putting it into your baking dish. Then you're gonna boil some chicken giblets in some salted water, then chop them up. Then you're gonna start to brown your ground beef, then combine the soaked bread, giblets, beef, celery, onions, parsley, eggs, raisins, Parmesan and chestnuts, toss to combine. Whisk together all the spices and then mix that into the stuffing as well. Transfer all that stuffing into a baking dish and bake at 350 degrees until the top is brown for about one hour. Here we go, cross your fingers. just a perfume of liver yes. on my tongue. Mm -hmm. It permeates oh. all of it. Oh, Marilyn. I can't even identify what I don't like because it's just like one jumble of too muchness. And it's liver. It's too hard to eat. Yeah. Oh, Marilyn. Who did you wrong, baby girl? I'm very unimpressed, to say it nicely. I am impressed, am impressed, but not in a good way. Right. <laughs> Are you impressed how many ingredients can go in one yeah. recipe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mark's going in. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark likes liver, guys. It's not that bad. What? Get out of here. He's not even he a part of this. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not even a part of this video. Gwyneth Paltrow's classic bread stuffing calls for challah or whole grain or ciabatta bread, which she says she most frequently has laying around the house. Fennel seed, celery seed, and vegetable broth instead of chicken. This is a vegetarian stuffing. Gwyneth has you cube your bread into half inch pieces and then bake it until it's dried out. Heat butter and olive oil in a saute pan over medium heat. Add the onion, celery, fennel and celery seeds, rosemary, salt and pepper, and sweat the mixture for 20 minutes. Remove that mixture from the heat, stir in parsley, and let it rest and cool for about 10 minutes. After that, you add the bread cubes and two cups of stock and stir to combine. Let that mixture rest for an hour so the flavors can meld. Then transfer to a baking dish, pour the remaining stock over the top, dot it with butter, and bake until it's lightly browned, about 25 minutes. Gwyneth, the goop queen. Thank you. Mm. Got that goop? <laughs> it's got that like softness that I love it's in really bread pudding. It's really soft, yeah. yeah. Buttery, very buttery. I love the fennel. Really, really good stuffing. And then there's celery seed in this one? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, this is classic, good stuffing. Classic, but I think the fennel gives you a little something unexpected. Mm -hmm. Love that it. Crunchy bit. That was good. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Ina Garden's Sausage and Herb Stuffing. This one's pretty conventional, very few ingredients. Italian sausage, cup of dried cranberries, two Granny Smith apples for tartness, a lot of sourdough bread. That's it, easy. 
Ina Garten's sausage and herb stuffing starts by toasting the bread cubes in a 300 degree oven and start cooking your onions, celery, apples, and parsley. Season it with some salt and pepper. Cook that mixture for about 10 minutes and add it to the bread cube bowl. In the same pan, you're gonna brown your sausage up, breaking it up with a little fork to make it nice and fine. Cook it for about 10 minutes and then add it to your bread cube bowl. Finish your stuffing, add your chicken broth and your dried cranberries and mix it up really well. Pour it into a nine by 13 dish and bake it for about 30 minutes until it's hot in the center and the top's all brown. This looks delicious. It looks good. I'm immediately taken aback by how like little it's stuck together. That's true, we'll see. I trust her though. Yes, I trust her too. Mmm, that one was sourdough. Mm-hmm, and your bread sourdough, for sure, yeah. for sure. I like it. I like the sausage, mm -hmm. I like the apple. I like the cranberry. I like it. I just wish there was a binder or something. Yeah. Just because I want it to all stick together when I'm biting it. I feel yeah. I'm like having to dig for pieces it's not of each like one. It's cohesive. Yeah. The flavor is really nice. It could almost stand by itself. Mm-hmm. Like rather than be a side dish to your turkey, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This almost just feels like a, a stuffing you would make outside of Thanksgiving almost mm -hmm. too, you know? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So far, I've had better. Agreed. Emerald Gossie's Simple But Fabulous Stuffing has pretty much your standard stuff, but also bacon, some Baby Bam seasoning, and garlic, which none of the other ones have. Emerald Stuffing starts with bacon. You brown that and add butter to the bacon along with onion and celery and cook until those are soft, about five minutes. Stir in poultry seasoning and garlic and cook a couple minutes more. Transfer that mixture to a large bowl, then add your bread, chicken broth, a couple of eggs, parsley, scallions, salt, pepper, and of course that BAM seasoning. Stir to combine, transfer the bread to your baking dish, and then melt more butter, drizzle it over the bread, cover tightly with foil, and bake 30 minutes. Uncover, bake 20 minutes more until it's nice and crispy, and serve. This one I think is gonna okay. be my favorite. Yeah. Mmm, bacony, soft and mm -hmm. goopy. That was almost too soft. Mmm, yeah. There's green onion in it, which is a little interesting. Mm-hmm. It definitely tastes like southerny. Mm-hmm. The green onion, the bacon. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I wish there was more bacon. Mm -hmm. Like a bacon topping or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only four slices of bacon. Yeah, that's not, not enough. enough. That's too much bread for that much bacon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Emerald. Bus boy! Our number one is definitely Gwyneth. Our number two is Emerald Lagasse. Our number three is the Barefoot Contessa. And last... But very much least. Very much least. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Oh. This is the winner. Way to go, Gwyneth. This. Gwyneth, goop queen. Nice yep. job. <laughs> Which stuffing do you think your family would like the most? What's your secret stuffing recipe? Tell us. We want to know. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us and go eat some stuffing. Happy stuffing day. Bye, guys. <laughs>